Let's get started. Oh, a new day has come, which means that today, my best friend Mikey and I will start new adventures. I am sure that today will be a very fun and interesting day. I really hope that my best friend Mikey is awake and ready to go for a walk. We'll find out soon enough. We need to go to Mikey soon and invite him for a walk. Oh, the weather is so nice outside. Nothing can spoil my mood today. Oh yes, I love the fresh air so much. That's great. Stop, what is it? The ring? It seems someone has lost a ring. Hmm, it looks very much like a golden ring. Okay, my plans are changing. We'll go for a walk with Mikey a little later. And now I need to think about what to do with this interesting ring. Oh, it's such a hard choice. Guys, what should I do with this ring? Throw it in the trash, find the owner, or sell it. Like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. This will greatly help me make a decision sooner and figure out what to do. Thanks, I'm gonna go home right now and make this hard decision. No, no, and no again. I'm sure I won't be able to find the owner of this ring. They will try to deceive me. I don't want this ring to fall into the hands of cheaters. I can't throw this ring away either. I'd be a fool if I threw the gold ring in the trash. Although, maybe this ring is not gold. We need to find out. Huh, it seems someone came to me. Hey, I'm coming. Hi, JJ. Good morning. Have you woken up yet? Then why didn't you come to me? We agreed to meet this morning. You forgot? Oh, sorry, Mikey. No, I haven't forgotten. The fact is that I feel very bad today. Let's meet another time. Bye. JJ, wait. Is there anything I can help you with? Don't leave. Don't close the door. Sorry, Mikey. I'm so sorry. Moments later. Phew. No one can know that I found the ring. This will be my secret. I have to do my own investigation first. I'm going to go to the bank right now and ask them to check this ring for authenticity. I don't want to spend a lot of time on a fake ring. Anyway, we'll find out soon enough. Hey, is there anyone here? Why is our bank so empty? This is very strange. Hmm, this is the only open cash register. I'm here, I need help. I'm on my way, just a second. Greetings to you. How can I help you? Do you need money? Hello, no, I need help with this ring. I wanna find out if this is a real gold ring or a fake. Can you help me? So, let's see, stop. What, I can't believe my eyes. It's incredible. This is the highest grade gold and a ruby. This is a real ruby. I am ready to buy this ring from you right now for $1 million. Do you agree? Oh, to be honest, I wasn't ready for such an offer. I came to find out the authenticity. Agree. This is a huge amount of money. You're going to be rich. Maybe I'll go home and think about your offer. I'm sure I need to think about it. Great. This means that you agree. Take all my money. This is for you. It's all yours. With this money, you can buy yourself anything. Leave me the ring and go away. Oh, that's really a lot of money. Okay, okay, this ring is yours now. Can I just take all this money and leave? Is this not a prank? Yes, you can go now, and I will sell this ring for 10 times the price. Ha ah, ha ha ha. What, 10 times more expensive? No, stop, wait. Okay though, we need to calm down. I have $1 million in my hands right now. Now I have become the richest resident of this village. I can buy myself anything. I can buy myself a new house, a cool car, and I can never work again. Hooray! Wow, this car is so cool. I can't believe this is my car. I'm the coolest. I am sure that this is the best car in our village. Let's check how fast this car is going. Oh, and this is the best and most expensive restaurant in our village. I've always wanted to go to this restaurant, but I didn't have the money. I'm finally going to try Oat Cuisine. It's incredible. I've never eaten such delicious food before. It's like I'm in heaven. This is the best day of my life. Being rich is very cool. Mr. JJ, here, the next course. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, man. You served me well. I want to give you $1,000 for that. 
Here you go. It's all for you. Give another thousand dollars from me to your chef. Your food is very tasty. Thank you, Mr. JJ. This is a very big tip for me. I will definitely tell the chef your words. Great, great, great. Maybe I should pay all the bills at this restaurant? <coughs> oh, I had a great time. But the night has come and it's time for me to go home. Stop. That's right, my car is locked. But where did I lose the keys? Hmm, maybe I left the keys at the restaurant and the restaurant has already closed. Okay, so we'll have to walk home. Guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. It will help me a lot not to get lost and return home safe and sound. Thanks, and now I'm just going to walk home like I did before. It's good that our village is safe at night. Tomorrow, you will need to buy yourself a second spare car. And I'll also need to buy myself a new house. Two new houses. Yes, it's a cool idea. Yes, I'm sure of it now. It was JJ who found my lost good luck ring. He became very rich. Probably the luck ring helped him. We need to spy on him. This is really the best day of my life. This day was very eventful and interesting. I'm very tired and I want to sleep. Great, JJ went to bed. This means that I can go into the house and find my good luck ring. TV woman, what are you doing in my bedroom? Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. JJ, I know that you found my good luck ring. You have become rich and successful. It's 100% thanks to my luck ring. Where is it? Give me my ring and I'll go home. TV woman, you're right, but there's one problem. I don't have your ring. I sold it and that's why I have so much money now. Stop, what? JJ, what did you say? Did you sell my luck ring? Oh, hold on JJ, you're not going to like this. Oh no, TV woman, no need, don't do this. Let's get started. A new day has come, and my best friend Mikey and I decided to go to the mine to try to find some diamonds. I am sure that luck will be on our side today. Isn't that right, Mikey? JJ, we've been in the mine for an hour and we can't find anything. Are you sure this is a good idea? Mikey, look, these are diamonds. We have finally found the diamond ore. I can't believe my eyes. It's incredible. Super, I can finally craft myself a new diamond sword. It is very cool. Mikey, I think it's only fair if I dig up these diamonds. I told you to dig in this particular place. Oh no, JJ, it's not fair. While you were just standing there looking at me, I spent a lot of effort and dug into this mine. I almost broke my pickaxe and these are my diamonds. Do you understand me? Wow, diamonds, interesting. Why doesn't anyone dig up these diamonds? Probably no one needs these diamonds. But it's okay. I dug up these diamonds, and now they're mine. Hey, wait, these are our diamonds. Bring them back. Oh, well done, JJ. Now, because of you, we both lost those diamonds. That's it. I'm tired of you. I'm going to look for diamonds in another mine. No problem. I can do it without you. Guys, please support me, like this video, and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. It will help you a lot to cope alone and find diamonds. Thank you. Well, let's start the search. I don't have enough time to search for diamonds. I need to hurry up. Three hours later. Great! Today's trip to the mine was a success. I found a lot of useful resources without Mikey's help. I always knew I could do it without him. But we're best friends. We shouldn't quarrel over such a stupid reason. I proved to myself that I can find diamonds without my friend Mikey. It seems to me that now it's time for us to make peace. Okay, maybe Mikey came home too. I'll just go and try to talk to him. I hope Mikey doesn't hold a grudge against me. Otherwise, our conversation might not go according to plan. Hey, Mikey, it's me. JJ, open the door quickly. We need to talk. JJ, why did you come here? I don't want to talk to you. Mikey, stop being offended by me. I came to you to make peace. I think we shouldn't quarrel over diamonds. Our friendship is much more valuable than resources. 
Do you understand that? Oh no, JJ! It's too late! I will never forgive you for what you did in the mine! I don't need you anymore! Now I have a new best friend, TV Woman! By the way, I've already made an appointment with her! Bye, loser! What? Mikey! Wait! Go outside! We haven't finished our conversation! Oh, how angry I am! Mikey called me a loser! This is very disrespectful, but that's okay! I know how to get back at Mikey! I have a brilliant idea! <coughs> oh, I really hope that my calculations are correct and I will succeed! This is the most ingenious invention I've ever made! Bingo! I think I was able to do it! Now, with this invention, I can make the best prank in the world! After all, with this remote control, I can control a TV woman! <laughs> Super! Let's move on to the next part of the plan. I need to find Mikey and the TV woman. It will be very fun and interesting. Mikey told me that he's going to be walking with TV woman today. Oh yes! He didn't deceive me. How obvious it is that they will go for a walk in our village park. Well, get ready. Our show is starting. Right now, with this remote control, I'm going to control a TV woman. I'm sure Mikey will be shocked. After all, I'm not just going to control a TV woman. I'll make TV woman kidnap Mikey. So, I think I did it. Yes, great. Now TV woman is under my control. It's incredible. Under my control, the TV woman can do anything. Mikey probably doesn't understand what's going on. But that's okay. He'll figure it out soon. Now, let me press one button. Now, the TV woman has to take Mikey and take him to a secret place. Super, we need to hurry up. TV woman runs very fast. Five minutes later. So, Mikey is sitting in this room. He will be very surprised when he sees me. Hey, TV woman. What's going on here? Why did you kidnap me and tie me to a chair? Did I do something bad to you? Maybe I offended you in some way. Maybe you can answer me. Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch me. Oh, no. I don't understand anything. What happened? Hi, Mikey. How are you doing? Stop. What? JJ, what are you doing here? Explain to me what's going on here. Everything is very easy, Mikey. That was my prank. I have created a special remote control for TV woman control. I guided her on your walk. And under my control, she kidnapped you. I'm sorry that I ruined your walk. How do you like my prank? Oh, JJ, this is a really brilliant prank. Well, shall we go on an adventure? Mikey, it's time to admit that this is the end. We are at an impasse. The zombies have surrounded us. We can't get out of here. Our bullets are not enough to destroy this entire army of zombies. JJ, we will not give up without a fight. We must try to destroy all these zombies. Let's, I am sure that we will succeed. About three, two, one. Come on! Okay, Mikey, let's do it! Get it! Get it! Stupid zombies! Mikey, these zombies are very strong! I can't even destroy one zombie! Don't give up on JJ! Shoot at these zombies! Shoot until you run out of ammo! Mikey, I have some very bad news for you! It seems that the cartridges have already run out! Oh no! Mikey's been bitten! I can't believe my eyes! Mikey has become a zombie! It really seems like the end! Goodbye, Mikey. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Oh, no. Mikey, don't eat my brains. No, no. JJ, stop sleeping. Wake up soon. I really need your help. Stop. What? Oh, it was just a terrible dream. I think I really missed our adventures with my best friend, Mikey. After the TV woman became my girlfriend, I didn't have time for entertainment at all. JJ, can you hear me? I really need your help. Come here quickly. Good morning, my love. I'm already here. What happened? I'll help you. Oh, JJ, you're finally awake. The fact is that I started cooking breakfast and forgot that we had run out of chicken eggs. You should go to the grocery store and buy new chicken eggs. Okay, no problem. I'm going to the grocery store right now and buy new chicken eggs. Don't worry, honey. Thanks, JJ, you're my hero. I knew you would help me. Oh, I didn't get enough sleep at all. But that's okay. I'm already used to it. Fun adventures are great. But it's time to become an adult and build your family. Guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds if you want me and my best friend Mikey to have more cool adventures. Thanks. 
So what? Now it's time to run to the store to buy chicken eggs. Oh, Mikey's house. I remember how long we could stay at his place. We spent the whole day playing a video game console and eating pizza. JJ, hi, long time no see. Tell me, how are you doing? Oh, hi, Mikey. To be honest, I was just thinking about you. I'm fine. I went to the grocery store. And how are you doing? I'm fine too, JJ. Maybe we'll go on a new adventure. We haven't had an adventure in so long. Oh, Mikey, I can't. You know, I've started a family life. I don't have free time for entertainment. I have to work and take care of the TV woman. And anyway, we're going to get married with her soon. So, no, Mikey, I'm sorry and bye. Oh, okay, JJ, it's very sad. I miss our adventures, bye. Mikey, don't be offended by me. You'll understand me when you have a girlfriend. Oh, I've spent too much time talking to Mikey. We need to run to the store. Six months later. So today, we are all gathered here for a very wonderful occasion. Two lonely hearts decided to unite and form an alliance. This is JJ and TV Woman. Oh, that's so sweet. JJ and TV Woman are great. Oh, yes, I'm so happy for them. And so I'm going to ask one easy question. TV Woman, do you agree to marry JJ? Do you agree to be with him for better or for worse until death do you part? Oh, of course I agree. I say yes, yes, yes. JJ, do you agree to take a TV Woman as your lawful wife? Of course. TV Woman, I love you. I agree. Yes. Great, then I pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, now you can have a lot of fun. JJ, I'm so happy, it's incredible. Hey, the bride, can I distract you? We really missed you. Oh, JJ, I'll be back soon. No problem, my love, this is our day. Go have fun. Oh, Mikey, it's been a very hard day. I'm so tired, but I am very glad that TV Woman and I have become husband and wife. JJ, good job. You have a gorgeous wedding with TV Woman. All the guests really like it. Oh, thanks, Mikey. I am very pleased to hear this. I have been working for this wedding for a very long time, and finally, this day has come. Stop! What? Who's knocking on the door? We are no longer waiting for guests. Oh no, JJ, it's a zombie. It seems they heard us and decided to attack. Mikey, what should we do? Oh, don't worry, JJ. I am always ready for our adventures. I am very glad that even after your wedding, we can have fun together. Mikey, you're cool. Now let's have some fun. So girls, let's get started. Today we have a long-awaited dating contest in our village. Each of you will have to prepare a cool and unusual date for JJ. After all, it's JJ who will decide which of you wins. Do you understand everything? Yes, everything is clear. Don't worry, girls, it's going to be an easy battle. After all, I will make the best date for JJ. Oh no, camera woman. I'm going to make the best date for JJ. I will win this battle. Girls, stop arguing. JJ will wake up soon. You all need to start getting ready for dates right now. Come on, hurry up. You have very little time. Oh, Mikey, it won't take me long to prepare the best date for JJ. TV woman is right. There's no need to rush us. We can handle everything. Mikey, and what prize are we competing for today? Let's get started. Today, we have a long-awaited dating contest in our village. It's up to me to decide which of the girls made the best date and won this battle. Well, Mikey, what's the first date? Your first date will be with a camera woman. I really hope you enjoy this date. Well, JJ, are you ready? Mikey, are you sure that the date is taking place in this scary and abandoned building? Yes, I'm sure of it. Camera woman is waiting for you right here. Hmm, okay. It seems this date is going to be very unusual. Guys, I really want to ask for your support. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. This will really help me decide which of the girls really made the best date and won. Thanks. Come on, JJ. I wish you good luck. I hope your date goes well. Camera woman tried very hard. Oh, okay, Mikey. That's it. I'm ready. I went on my first date. Wow. Hello, camera woman. Hi, JJ, you've finally come. I've been waiting for you for a very long time. Have a seat. Oh, camera woman. And why did you decide to have a date in such an unusual place? Hmm, I had very little money. I had to come up with something. Oh, how I envy JJ. He must have really enjoyed this date. Mikey, this is terrible. I'm leaving this date. There are spiders crawling everywhere, and this place stinks a lot. It was impossible. There's no way I'm going back there. JJ, where did you run to? Is it really that bad? Okay, so it's time to move on to the second date. Three hours later. Don't worry, JJ. 
I'm sure you'll like the second date a lot more. This date will take place in a very nice place, on the shore of our village pond. So what? Are you ready? Yes, Mikey. I'm ready. I really hope this date will be much better. Well, let's see what awaits us here. To be honest, this place looks really much better than an abandoned building. Wow! Hello, speaker woman. How are you doing? I see that you have prepared well. Hi, JJ. Yes, I tried very hard to make the best date for you. I even made some delicious cocktails for us. Do you want to try it? Hmm, delicious homemade cocktails? It really sounds very cool. I love this date. Yes, I want to try your cocktail. JJ, I am very glad that you like this date. It means that I didn't try in vain. I'm sure this date will be great. Stop, what are those sounds? Oh no, JJ, this is a Skibidi toilet. It has found us and wants to attack us. What should we do? Don't worry, speaker woman. I'm going to destroy this Skibidi toilet. Boom, oh no, speaker woman. It seems that I accidentally destroyed our excellent place for a date. Oops. Oh no, JJ, everything is ruined. I've been preparing this place for hours. That Skibidi toilet ruined our date. Now I can't win this competition. It's so sad. <laughs> well, JJ, evening has come, which means that your last date is about to begin. This date will take place with TV Woman, and I'm sure she has prepared something very interesting. I think this is going to be the best date of the day. Oh, Mikey, I really hope so too. Guys, please support us. Like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. Then our date with TV Woman will go great and no one will bother us. Your support is very important to us. Thanks. JJ, we don't have much time. Hurry up, get in the elevator and go up to the TV Woman. She's already waiting for you. Good luck to you. Okay, Mikey, see you. I am very interested to find out what kind of date TV Woman has prepared for me. Something tells me that this is really going to be the best date ever. Oh, I think I'm here. So what? Let's take a look. Wow, hello, TV Woman. I'm shocked. You made a date on the roof of the house. It's incredible. It's so beautiful here. Hi, JJ. Yes, I tried very hard. It was hard, but I did it. I assure you that this will be the best date of your life. Oh, TV woman, I have no doubt about it. The main thing is that no one interferes with us. Don't worry, JJ, we're safe here. No one will disturb us or ruin our date. I've taken care of everything. The next day. Well, guys, right now we will summarize the results of our dating contest. Come on, JJ, speak. Who won? Guys, everyone was good, but TV Woman won. I congratulate you. TV Woman's date was the best. Oh, guys, I'm so glad I did it. I managed to win this competition. Hooray! Our dating contest has come to an end. Congratulations to you, TV Woman. Let's get started. Mikey is going on an expedition right now. Mikey wants to find useful resources for our camp. Mikey, maybe you'll let me go with you after all? It is very dangerous to walk alone on this island. Do you understand that? Oh no, JJ, I'm sorry, but I want to go alone. We go on expeditions with you all the time. I need to learn how to survive alone. This is a very useful skill. Okay, whatever you say, Mikey. I really hope that your expedition will be successful and you will return to the camp safe and sound. Everything will be fine. Bye, JJ. Bye, Mikey. Good luck to you. Oh, I'm so worried about Mikey. This is my best friend. I won't survive if anything happens to him, but I know how we can help him. Guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. This will greatly help my friend Mikey survive and find useful resources. Your support is very important to Mikey. Thanks. And now it's time to have some fun. I thought it would be boring for me to be in the camp and came up with a fun and harmless prank on my friend Mikey. Hey, girls, wake up. We need to discuss something. JJ, what happened? Why did you wake us up in the early morning? Do we have any problems in the camp? Yes, JJ, what happened? Why did you wake us up? Girls, don't worry, it's all right. I came up with a cool prank on Mikey and I need your help. What, prank? Okay, tell me, what do we need to do? This is a very harmless joke. Mikey went on an expedition and I want us all to pretend that we want to kiss him when he comes back. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hmm, this is a very strange prank, but okay, I agree. Yes, I agree too, let's do a prank on Mikey. 
Oh, okay, JJ, I'll help you too. Oh, yes. Girls, thank you. I am sure that we will be able to make a very cool prank. It remains to wait for Mikey's return. <laughs> Meet me! I'm back from an expedition! Stop! Where are all the guys? Why is no one meeting me? The camp is so quiet! This is very strange! Maybe the guys decided to go to bed early today? Okay, then I'll go home and go to bed too! It's a pity that I didn't find useful resources for our camp, but this was my first attempt! I am sure that next time I will succeed! Oh, home sweet home! How I missed my home! I'm finally back! So what? It's time to go to bed! Hi, Mikey! You finally returned from the expedition! I want to kiss you so much! Come to me, my dear friend! What? JJ, you're acting very strange! Don't touch me! What's the matter with you? What are you talking about, Mikey? I just want to kiss you! Come to me! I've missed you so much! Hey! Guys! Girls! Somebody help me! I think JJ is sick! For some reason, he really wants to kiss me! This is very strange! Mikey, just let me kiss you! TV woman, please help me! Something very strange is happening to JJ! Oh, Mikey! You finally returned to the camp! Come to me! I want to kiss you so much! I've been waiting for your return for so long! You're finally back! Let's kiss! Guys! You're scaring me! Why do you all want to kiss me? This is very strange! Somebody! Explain to me what's going on here! We just want to kiss you! Oops, guys! I think we overdid it, and Mikey fainted! To be honest, I did not expect such an outcome! What should we do now? JJ, it was your idea! You think about what we should do! Three hours later... Guys! Mikey has been sleeping for hours! We need to wake him up somehow! But how do we do it? He doesn't react to our actions in any way! JJ, I know what will help us! We need the support of our subscribers! Hmm! That's a great idea! Guys, please help us wake Mikey up. Like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. Then Mikey will wake up and we will tell him that it was just a prank. Your support is very important to us. Thanks. Stop! What? It wasn't a dream. Get away from me. I'm not going to kiss anyone. Mikey, hush. Don't panic. Now we will explain everything to you. Let's talk. Oh, no. I won't talk to you. I know what you want to do. You all want to kiss me. Something has happened to you. You must have been poisoned or bewitched by a witch. I will not fall for your provocations. Mikey, the fact is that it was an ordinary prank. I didn't know that you would react this way to our harmless joke and faint. Forgive me. It was my idea. The girls are not to blame for this. What? Was it a prank? JJ, are you serious? Yes. JJ is telling the truth. Forgive us. Oh, no. It seems Mikey is offended by us and doesn't want to talk to us. JJ, you need to think about how to apologize to him. Oh, don't worry, girls. I'll find a way to apologize to Mikey. Thank you for helping me make such a prank, and I'm sorry for that. Okay, JJ. Don't forget to apologize to Mikey. Bye. Bye, speaker woman. So what? The prank turned out to be really funny, but now I need to think about how to apologize to Mikey. Let's get started. Evening came, and we gathered with all the residents of our small camp in order to discuss the further plan of our actions. We have been working hard all day and getting resources in order to escape from this uninhabited island. Mikey is building a raft, and we hope that we will be able to return home to our village soon. Oh, I miss my home so much. I really want to go back to the village. Guys, I have great news for you. I congratulate you. I've just finished building our raft. Tomorrow we can test this raft and finally try to sail home. Cool, isn't that right? What? Seriously? Mikey, were you able to finish the raft so quickly? It's incredible. I'm so glad. Girls, let's go take a look at this raft. Mikey, you did a great job. I can't believe my eyes. Are we really going to be able to finally sail off this island tomorrow? It really sounds incredible. It was easy because you provided me with all the resources. Tomorrow will be a very difficult day. We all need to get a good night's sleep and gain strength. That's why I suggest everyone go to bed right now, okay? Girls, did you hear Mikey? We all need to get some sleep, so stop standing here. Let's go to bed. I want to leave this island as soon as possible and return home. Good night, girls. Soon our torment will end and we will return home. Mikey, to be honest, I'm shocked. First of all, you've really finally finished building the raft. And secondly, I do not believe that we will return home soon. 
I understand you, JJ. You should get some sleep too. Good night. Good night, Mikey. Oh, how glad I am. How long have we been living on this island? A month? Two months? I can't believe that soon we will return to our home in our native village. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. It will help us a lot to escape from this island and return home. Your support is very important to us. Thanks. So what? Mikey said we all need to get some sleep. Good night. Three hours later. Stop! What? I heard a woman screaming. What's going on? We need to check this urgently. Hey, is anyone here? I don't think I see anyone. Oh no, this can't be happening. There is a fire in our camp. Our raft is on fire. What should I do? Hey, who is this? TV woman, what is she doing here and why is she running away? Okay, we'll find out later. Now we need to put out the fire. Hey, wake up everyone. We have a huge problem. There's a fire in the camp. Our raft is on fire. We need to put it out. JJ, get the fire extinguisher quickly. If our raft burns down, we will never be able to escape from this island. We need to save our raft. Guys, can anyone explain what's going on here? Why is our raft on fire? What happened? Is our whole plan being canceled? Tell us. Can't we go home now? Mikey, JJ, say something at least. Guys, quiet. No need to panic. Now we'll tell you everything. Mikey, what's with the raft? What do you think? Can we restore it? No, JJ. The raft is beyond repair. I also want to know what happened. You woke us all up. I think it's time to tell you everything. Okay. Mikey, I wanted to tell you this in private. The fact is that last night I was woken up by a woman's screams. I went outside and saw a burning raft. And then I saw TV woman running from there. I'm not sure if she's to blame for this fire, but I saw her at the scene. I don't think it's necessary to tell the rest of the girls. Do you understand me? I understand you, but TV woman is the only suspect right now. We need to talk to her. Hey, TV woman, open the door quickly. It's us, Mikey and JJ. We know what you've done. Mikey, what are you gonna do? Stop. What? JJ, there's no one here. The TV woman's house is empty. Where could she have gone? You do realize that her escape from the camp only proves her guilt in the fire? Mikey, where are you going? I'm going to look for a TV woman. Don't stop me, JJ. She destroyed all my efforts. I will never forgive her for this. <coughs> oh, it's morning, and Mikey still hasn't returned to camp. TV woman hasn't returned either. Hmm, maybe the speaker woman and camera woman saw someone. Hey, speaker woman, hi. Have you seen Mikey or TV woman by any chance? What? I wanted to ask you the same thing. Where have they gone? What is going on in our camp anyway? Don't worry, speaker woman. An investigation is underway. We'll tell you everything soon. Hey, camera woman. Hi. Have you by any chance seen TV woman or Mikey? No, I didn't see anyone. I don't talk to anyone all day and try to forget about what happened last night. Okay, thanks for the reply. Don't worry, we'll fix it soon. So what? I think it's time for me to go in search of Mikey and TV Woman. Oh, I've been looking for my friend Mikey and TV Woman for hours. Guys, please support me. Like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. It will really help me to finally find my friends. Your support is very important to me. Thanks. So what? Now let's keep looking. Stop. What is that scream? We need to check this urgently. That scream was very close. What? Oh no, I can't believe my eyes. What's going on here? Mikey, explain it to me quickly. Why is the TV woman tied? Why did you take her hostage? This is terrible. JJ, I'm just asking her to answer my questions. I want to know why she set fire to our raft, but she doesn't say anything. Mikey, enough. This is wrong behavior. Let me ask TV woman about it. So, TV woman, I saw you. I saw you running from the fire. Tell us the truth. What were you doing there? Did you set fire to our raft? Okay, okay, I'll tell you everything. Yes, JJ is right. I was there, and yes, I set fire to our raft. But I didn't do it on purpose. The fact is that I couldn't sleep for a long time that night, and I wanted to go and sit by the raft. I looked at him and imagined that soon we would all return home. And then my torch fell right on the raft and the raft caught fire. I tried to put it out, but I couldn't do anything. And then I just ran away. I was very ashamed. Forgive me. 
Don't worry, TV woman. You didn't do it on purpose. We'll make a new raft and everything will be fine. Now, let's get back to camp. Oh, it was a very hard day. It's finally coming to an end. Let's get started. Right now, my best friend Mikey and I are going on an adventure. We are in a very scary mine, and we hope that we can find treasures here. Mikey, are you even sure that we can find anything useful here? This place is very creepy. It seems to me that it is dangerous to be here. JJ, don't worry. I'm sure there's no one here. Look, we found the chest. I told you that there are definitely treasures here. We have finally found these treasures. I'm so glad. We need to pick up all the useful items and return to the camp. Okay, Mikey. You were right. We found a chest, and there are really useful items inside this chest. Our friends will be very happy when they find out that we did not waste so much time searching for treasures in vain. Of course. Everyone will be very happy. JJ, what if there are more treasure chests here? Maybe we should stay and take a closer look at this cave. How do you like this idea? Are you sure we need to do this? Oh, yes. I want to find more diamonds. I want to craft new diamond tools. Oh, no, Mikey. This is a very bad idea. There's a wild bear here. I think this bear wants to attack us. What should we do? I told you that we need to bring weapons with us. Hurry up, Mikey. Let's run away. JJ, I can't believe my eyes. Where does a wild bear come from in this cave? Is this really his lair? We won't be able to escape from this bear. This bear is too fast. Mikey, quickly press the lever. This will help us. JJ, it's incredible. We were able to escape from the wild bear. We survived. Oh, yes, Mikey. It was an incredible adventure. Guys, please help us. Like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. This will help Mikey and me a lot. Then our adventures will be even more fun and interesting. Thanks. Well, JJ, I think now is the time to go back to camp. I'm sure our girls have already missed us. Yes, Mikey, it's time to go home. Guys, we're back. JJ and I were able to escape from a wild bear. And we also found a huge mountain of useful items. It was an incredible adventure. What? A wild bear? Were you attacked by a wild bear? Guys, tell us about it in more detail. How did you manage to escape from there? Oh, it's a very long story. We can tell you this story around the campfire tonight. The most important thing is that we survived and brought useful resources to the camp. Hmm, okay. Then we'll go about our business. We will wait for the evening to hear this interesting story. Good! Let's meet tonight and discuss it! JJ, when are we going to have a new adventure? I loved it so much. I love adventures! Oh, Mikey, we have a lot of work to do in our camp. First, you need to sort out all the resources found. Do you want to help me? JJ, I saw that you found some kind of potion. Can I keep this potion for myself? I want to find out what kind of potion it is. What if I can become a superhero? Of course I don't mind, but I don't advise you to drink this potion. What if it's poison? Be careful! Okay, JJ, I promise you that I will be careful. Good luck sorting your resources. Bye! Bye, Mikey! Oh, it seems like I'm going to have to spend a lot of time and effort sorting through all the resources I've found. But it's okay, I can handle it. So, I'm very interested to find out what kind of strange potion JJ and I found in this scary cave. But how do I do it? Hmm, I'm just using this potion. I hope that I will really become a superhero. Hey, what happened? This potion doesn't work. Hi, I'm Mikey's little turtle. Where are my parents? Oh, to be honest, I'm already a little tired. I need a snack. Stop, what is it? I don't understand. Is this really the crying of a child? Why is this sound coming from my friend Mikey's house? JJ, where does a child come from on our island? We need urgent help. TV woman, I don't know anything either. Let's find this child and help him. Of course, we have to save this child. Maybe this is another prank. I have never seen children on this island. Stop, I can't believe my eyes. Is this our friend Mikey? Why did he become a child? It's really Mikey, but why did he become a child? It's incredible. Hi, are you my parents? Yes, you are my mom and dad. Dad and mom. What? Mikey, what are you talking about? <coughs> then we went into Mikey's house and saw this. TV woman was shocked. Mikey became a little kid and we don't understand how it happened. That's such a funny story. This is a very amazing story. We need to fix everything. How can we help Mikey become normal again? Guys, hush! 
Little Mikey just fell asleep. We can't wake him up. Otherwise, Little Mikey will cry loudly again. TV woman, we need to put Mikey to bed. Can you do it? Oh, of course. That's good advice. I'll think of something now. TV woman, be careful. We have a small cot for children somewhere in the camp. Don't worry, JJ, she can handle it. Okay, guys, please help us. Like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. This will really help us understand what's going on and help our friend Mikey. Thank you. I really hope that we can help Mikey. JJ, you said that Mikey called you from TV Woman his parents. It's true? Did he say that you are his mom and dad? Yes, it's very strange, but it's true. He called us his parents. Stop! Why is the door to my house open? TV Woman decided to put Mikey to sleep in my house. We need to check it out. Okay, JJ, we'll be waiting for you here. I can't live in the same house with little Mikey. He cries all the time. Hey, TV Woman, are you here? What's going on? I didn't agree to Mikey sleeping in my house. I won't be able to get enough sleep. Get used to it, JJ. Little Mikey needs care. You can't leave him alone. And what do you suggest? Become a father? This is my best friend. I can't. You and I are going to be his parents together until we can get him back to normal. Is it okay? We have to help him. Hmm. Are you and I going to be parents? It sounds very strange, but interesting. Okay, I agree. Let's get started. A new day has come which means that our survival on a desert island continues. Today is going to be a very difficult day because there will be a lot of work to do. Mikey, are you ready to get to work? Of course, JJ, I'm always ready. Tell me, what are we going to do today? You said that we have a big problem with food in the camp. Do you want to go in search of food? Oh no, Mikey, let's go find food another time. Today our task is much more important. Do you remember about the farm in our camp? Oh yes, this farm helps us survive. I remember how long we tried to grow at least some kind of crop. What happened? Is there something wrong with our farm? No, Mikey, there's nothing wrong with our farm. But there is one small problem. Someone is constantly spoiling our harvest. I think wild animals are constantly trying to eat or spoil our crops. And today, we need to fix it. Do you have any ideas how we can do this? Of course, we need to put a fence around our farm. Wild animals will not be able to get through the fence. I am sure that no one will touch our harvest now. Cool idea, isn't it? Mikey, you're a genius. This is a really great idea. It seems to me that it will work. Let's put up a high fence around the whole farm soon. Three hours later. JJ, congratulations to you. After three hours, we finally completed the fence around our farm. It is very cool. We did well. Oh, yes, Mikey. We did a good job. But that's not all. To continue, we need the support of our subscribers. Guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. This will greatly help us secure our camp and farm. Your support is very important to us. Thank you. JJ, what are we going to do next? Do you have any idea how else to secure our farm? Maybe I'll become a farm guard and live here? Oh no, Mikey. We need your help at our camp. Maybe someone else will guard our farm? It's a pity that we don't have a dog. A dog would do a great job as a farm guard. Precisely. We need to put up a scarecrow. Now even birds won't be able to spoil our harvest. Look, it looks very scary. Our farm is safe now. Hooray! Mikey, you came up with a very cool idea. Now no one will attack our farm. We did well. So what? Let's go to the camp. We have to tell the girls how well we did today. I'm also a little hungry. Oh, I agree with you. I'm very hungry too. I suggest we talk to the girls, have some food and relax. I think we deserve some rest with you. Yes, Mikey, you're right. We need a rest. We worked for several hours without a break. Hey girls, congratulate us. We worked for several hours and improved our farm very much. What, seriously? Will no one spoil our harvest anymore? This is great news. Mikey, JJ, you are great fellows. Oh yes, we built a fence around the farm and put a scarecrow there. I'm going to harvest and take a look at this. I can't believe our farm is safe now. Boys, this is really, really cool news, thank you. Now I'm sorry, but we don't have much time. We need to cook dinner. Oh, okay, we will not distract you. Stop, girls, did you hear that? What was that? It seems to me that it was the scream of the TV woman. What happened to her? We need to find her urgently. Ooh, TV woman, are you stuck in the fence? Tell us what happened. There is a fence gate here that you can easily pass through. How did you end up in the fence? Mikey, we'll find out what's going on later. 
Bring something to get the TV woman out of the fence. Search all the boxes in our camp and bring something useful. TV woman, we are really very interested. What happened? Did someone attack you? No! The fact is that I was walking to the farm and I was thinking a little. I was thinking that soon we will be eating normal food again. Guys, I know how to help a TV woman. Step back, I'm going to cut the fence now. Oh no, Mikey, don't do this. Put the chainsaw away. It's very dangerous. You can hit a TV woman with this chainsaw and hurt her. We need to figure out another way to get the TV woman out of the fence. Okay, JJ, don't worry. I have a plan B. Step back, everyone. Now I'm going to break down this fence with an ax. Mikey, no, don't do this, please. What if you hit me with that ax? Somebody take the ax away from Mikey. Guys, what's wrong with you? I've come up with two ways to help TV women. You reject all my ideas. Maybe someone has other options on how we can save TV woman? Come on, speak up. I'm listening carefully. Okay, I have an idea. TV woman won't eat anything today, and her belly will get a little smaller. I'm sure we can easily get her out of this fence tonight. Does everyone agree with me? <coughs> TV woman, I understand that you're scared, but you need to stop crying and try to get out of the fence again. Let's! Mikey and I believe in you. You will succeed. JJ, I can't. I can't do anything. I am very tightly stuck in this fence. I'll never get out of here. JJ, I think I have a cool idea. We need to talk to you. What? Seriously? Mikey, tell me your idea. Let's pretend that a bull is running here. TV woman will get scared and come out of the fence. Oh, okay. TV woman, it seems we have a problem. A huge bull is running towards us. This bull is running right towards you. What? A bull? Where's the bull? I am very afraid of bulls. Guys, let's get out of here. Oh, no. Mikey, your idea worked. We saved TV Woman. You've come up with a very cool plan. Oh, I'm very glad. I hope no one else gets stuck in this fence. Although, to be honest, it was a lot of fun. Hey, it's early in the morning, but someone is already knocking on my door. I wonder who decided to visit me. Now we will find out. Why would anyone want to wake me up so early? Hi. Hmm, Mikey, good morning. What happened? Good morning, JJ. It's okay, but I really need your help. I have come to you on a very serious matter. Only you can help me. Did you get enough sleep? Yes, Mikey, I slept well. Hurry up and tell me what happened. Of course, I'll help you. We're best friends. The fact is that I asked a camera woman out on a date, but I've never had a date. I do not know how to do this correctly. You're a professional in this business, so I thought you could help me. Oh, Mikey, it's very cool. Of course I'll help you, but we need the support of our subscribers. Guys, please help us. Like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. Then we will definitely be able to make a great Mikey and camera woman date. Your support is very important to us. Thanks. Well, JJ, where do we start? Come on, Mikey. First, we need to prepare a good place for your date. Don't worry, it will be easy. We need to find the most beautiful place for a date. I wonder how long we will be looking for such a place. Wait, Mikey, it seems to me that we have already found the right place. Look, this place is very beautiful and there are a lot of flowers here. It seems to me that this location is perfect for your date. Do you agree with me? Oh yes, JJ, this is really a very beautiful place. I'm so lucky that you decided to help me. Tell me, what should we do next? So, Mikey, now we need to prepare this place for a date. Did you bring the necessary equipment with you? We need to put up a beautiful table and chairs for your date. Trust me, it's much better than sitting on the ground. Oh, of course, I took the necessary things with me. If I do something wrong, please correct me. Don't be afraid, Mikey. You're doing everything right. Two hours later. Well, JJ, have I prepared this place well for a date? I'm sure the camera woman will be very happy when she sees this. Is everything ready for the date now? Mikey, you've really prepared this place well for a date, but we're not done yet. Do you really think you're just gonna sit here and talk? You need delicious food. And you also need to collect a bouquet of flowers in order to give it to the camera woman. It seems we have a problem. I won't have time to cook food and find flowers. What should I do? I'm really worried. Don't worry, Mikey. I'm here to help you. That's why you can focus on cooking delicious food. And in the meantime, I'll go and pick flowers. Okay? JJ, thank you. I'm sure that without your help, the date would have failed. I am so lucky to have such a wonderful friend. 
I will definitely help you with something, too. Mikey, you've helped me so many times already. Everything is fine. That's why we're best friends, to help each other at the right time. Moments later. Well, Mikey, have you cooked the most delicious dinner for the camera woman? I hope so, because I picked flowers for you. Now everything is ready for your date. I'm sure this will be the best date of your life. Yes, JJ, I made a very delicious dinner. I couldn't resist and ate one sausage. It's really delicious. So what? Now it remains to wait for the camera woman. She knows where to find me. I want to thank you again. You really helped me a lot. I really appreciate it. It wasn't hard for me to help you. I'll wait for the camera woman to come and go back to the camp. I don't want to leave you here alone. It could be dangerous. Okay, JJ. I'm sure she'll be here soon. <clears> hmm, <throat> this is very strange. Night has fallen, but the camera woman still hasn't come to Mikey's for a date. Hey, Mikey, wake up. Something went wrong. The camera woman did not come. Maybe she has some kind of problem. Mikey, can you hear me? Wake up. Oh, it seems Mikey is sleeping too soundly. Mikey, stop sleeping. Wake up soon. We have a problem. What? Did I fall asleep? Oh, no. And where is the camera woman? Did she come here? Mikey, I have some bad news for you. Camera woman didn't come here. It seems to me that she has problems. We need to get back to the camp and find out what's going on. Do you really think she has some kind of problem? Maybe she just didn't want to go on a date with me? It's so sad! Mikey, don't jump to conclusions. We'll find out soon enough. So what? We're back at the camp. It's quiet and peaceful here. I want to go to the camera woman's house and talk to her. Do you think this is a good idea? Oh no, Mikey. This is a very bad idea. We spent a lot of effort today. Let's go and relax together. We haven't spent time together for a very long time. Okay, but before that, I still want to talk to the camera woman. I need to find out why she didn't come on a date. No, Mikey, I'm begging you. Don't do this. Let's visit the camera woman later. Don't be afraid, JJ. It won't take long. Stop. What? I can't believe my eyes. What's going on here? While we spent the whole day preparing for my date with camera woman, she was just having fun with a cameraman. I'm so sad. I'm shocked. I was betrayed. Oh, no. Mikey, guys. Please support Mikey, like this video, and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. This will really help Mikey cope with this sadness. He really needs your help and support right now. Thanks. Mikey, stop. No need to cry. I'm sure the camera woman will be able to explain everything. It hurts me. Oh, I heard someone knocking on my door. Why wake me up so early? Okay, good morning. Let's see who decided to wake me up with their knocks on the door. To be honest, I didn't get enough sleep. I hope that I was woken up for a very important reason. Otherwise, I'll be angry. JJ, hi. I'm so glad you woke up and opened the door. I have great news for you. I'm sure you'll be shocked when you find out what I found. Finally, you and I are going to have adventures again. I'm so glad. Mikey, what are you talking about? I don't understand anything. I just woke up and you're telling me about some news and adventures. Maybe you can tell me more about it? JJ, we can talk about this a lot and for a long time, but I'd rather show you this. Look, do you know what this is? Wow, Mikey, I can't believe my eyes. Did you find the treasure map? It's incredible. Oh yes, JJ, this is a real treasure map. I want to go in search of these treasures right now. I am sure that we will find these treasures. Hurry up and run! Hmm, okay, Mikey, let's do it. But wait, we need to warn the girls that we are going on a treasure hunt. But how do we do that? Everyone is asleep now. Don't worry, JJ, I've already thought of everything. We'll just leave a note. It says on this piece of paper that we went on a treasure hunt. Cool, isn't it? Oh yes, Mikey, you're a genius. There's nothing stopping us now. We can go on a treasure hunt right now. Hurry up and run! Great, JJ. Let's run. I am sure that today we will become very rich. JJ, what do you think? What will we find? Have you ever found treasures? Mikey, I've never found treasure before. I do not know what we will find, but it seems to me that it will be a mountain of gold. Yes, that's right. It will be a chest of gold. Unbelievable. I want to find this chest as soon as possible. Let's run. Oh, it seems like a new day has come. We need to go and check out what the rest of the guys in this camp are doing. 
Hmm, today is a very sunny day. But where is everyone? What? Why are the girls looking at this terrible raft so closely? Girls, it's so cool! Soon JJ and Mikey will finish this raft and we will finally be able to sail away from this island. I'm so glad. Hey girls, what are you doing here? Do you really think you can sail away on this raft? Do you realize that this raft won't hold everyone? Yes, JJ and Mikey said this raft is safe. We believe our friends. Girls, wait, you're making a mistake. Oh no, I need to prove to them that my idea to fix a fallen helicopter and fly away on it is much better. But how do I do it? This raft is terrible. JJ and Mikey will destroy all the inhabitants of this camp. I will not allow this. I urgently need to fix everything. I think I have a plan. First, I'll talk to one of the girls. I need to prove that I'm right to just one person, and then this person will convince everyone else. I'll talk to TV woman. JJ, we found it. Look, there is a red cross painted on the ground. Do you know what that means? Oh, yes, Mikey, of course. This means that you need to look for treasure in this place. So what? Let's start digging. Come on, JJ. We will do it. We will find treasures and become very rich. Great attitude, Mikey. Okay, I just need to talk to her. I will do it. Hey, TV woman. It's me, cameraman. I came to you to talk. This conversation is very important. Listen to me. Oh, cameraman. To be honest, I'm a little busy. I don't have time to talk. I already told you that I love JJ. Stop trying to win my heart. What? What are you talking about? I came for another reason. What does your love for JJ have to do with it? I'll explain to you what my love for JJ has to do with it. Right now, I'm getting ready for our date with him and I don't want you to get in my way. I've been preparing for this day for a very long time. Let's talk tomorrow, okay? Love is much more important than any conversation. TV woman, I promise you that our conversation will only take a few minutes. I want to save the lives of all the inhabitants of this camp. You can't sail off this island on the raft that JJ and Mikey built. This raft is terrible. It will sink very quickly. Do you understand that? My idea to fix a fallen helicopter and fly it is much better. You have to help me fix my helicopter. Why do you think JJ and Mikey's raft is going to sink? Mikey, I am sure that we are already very close to our treasures. Let's do it. Break the last block. It's a very exciting moment. Oh, JJ. Thank you for this opportunity. Let's do it. I hope that we will find a lot of gold. We will become the richest inhabitants of this planet. Wow, Mikey, we did it. There's a chest here. We have found the treasure. I congratulate you. Stop. What? Oh no, Mikey. I have very bad news for you. There are men's underpants in this chest. It seems like it was a hoax. There is no gold here. There are no treasures here. This is someone's prank. JJ, this can't be happening. I don't believe it! Did we arrange this search for nothing? We've spent so much time on this! Mikey, stop! But we had a lot of fun! It was a real adventure! Isn't that cool? I'm sorry, JJ. I want to be alone. Let's meet and discuss this tomorrow. I'm not ready for this right now. Okay, Mikey, but I'm asking you, don't be sad! We will definitely find the treasure again, just another time! Oh, poor Mikey! He's so sad! What should I do now? Hmm, that's right! We agreed to meet with TV Woman today. She's probably already waiting for me at home. Guys, please, support us! Like this video and subscribe to the channel in 5 seconds. It will help us a lot and cheer us up! Your support is very important to us, really! So what? Let's go to the TV woman. I'm sure she's already waiting for me. Stop! What? TV woman? Cameraman? What are you doing here? Oh no! Do you have a date? But TV woman, why did you call me then? I don't understand anything. JJ, wait! You got it all wrong! I'll explain everything to you. That's it! I've run out of patience. I will never talk to a TV woman again. I'm tired of this. I don't need conversations and explanations. Let's get started. Mikey and I are fishing right now because we're running out of food at camp. If we don't catch fish, then in a week, we will have nothing to eat. We must not allow this to happen. Isn't that right, Mikey? Yes, we need to provide our camp with food. We will do it, but we need the support of our viewers. Guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel in five seconds. It will help Mikey and me a lot to catch fish and not stay hungry. Your support is very important to us. Thanks. JJ, what do you think? Will we be able to catch at least one fish today? We can't leave our friends without food. Don't worry, Mikey. We'll do it. Wow, look. Help
Hello, camera woman. Good morning. How are you doing? Is everything okay? Hi, JJ. Hi, Mikey. It's all right. I'm going to go on an expedition. The fact is that I heard strange noises last night. It seems to me that there are more people on this island, and I'm going to go look for them. Camera woman, let's go with you. Mikey and I can help you. Oh, no, guys. Your help is needed in the camp. I'm going alone. Warn TV woman and speaker woman that I'm gone so they don't worry. I'll be back at camp tomorrow morning. Bye. Good luck fishing. Bye, camera woman. Have a good search. Bye, camera woman. JJ, did you hear that? Maybe there are more people on this island that we can save. It is very cool. Oh, yes, Mikey. I hope it's true. Two hours later. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. After two hours of fishing, we finally caught a fish. This is great news. Today, we will have a delicious breakfast. Well, Mikey, let's go fry some fish. Oh, yes, of course. Let's run. JJ, I can't stop thinking about the other people on this island. What do you think? Will the camera woman be able to find anyone? Has anyone else survived the plane crash? Hmm, Mikey, this is a very difficult question. We have been living on this island for several weeks now. And if we hadn't recently found a speaker woman, I would have answered you. No, but now I think it's possible. There may be other survivors on this island. I agree with you. Oh, it seems the other girls are awake too. We're going to have breakfast together now. Hooray! Hey, JJ, Mikey. Good morning. Why did you wake up so early? It's early morning now. Good morning, TV woman. We woke up to make breakfast for everyone. What? Did someone say breakfast? What are we going to have for breakfast today? Wild berries again? Oh no, Mikey and I woke up early this morning to go fishing and catch some fish. Stop, guys. And where did the camera woman go? Has anyone seen her? TV woman, speaker woman, don't worry. There's nothing wrong with camera woman. She said that she had heard strange noises that night and therefore went in search of other people. She'll be back tomorrow morning. Hmm, okay. JJ, what did you say about fishing? Oh yes, that's right. Girls, congratulate us. Mikey and I managed to get some fish. That's why we have very tasty fish for breakfast today. No wild berries. What? Seriously? Fried fish? I've been dreaming about this for so long. We're finally going to eat a proper meal. Mikey, JJ, thank you. You are our saviors. Oh, girls, don't mention it. You are also very helpful to us in the camp. So where should I start looking? There are so many places on this island that we haven't been to. Probably the first thing I need to do is explore these places. So what? I need to hurry up. I don't have enough time. <laughs> Oh no, things are bad. It started raining with a thunderstorm for the first time on this island. It's too bad, it's too late to go back to camp. I need to find shelter. The storm is so strong, it seems to me that a real hurricane is about to begin. Where can I hide? I don't see any suitable places. Hmm, what kind of place is this? It looks very much like a camp abandoned by someone. Great, this place will suit me to wait out the rain and thunder. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Great, I'll hide here. Guys, is everything okay? Was anyone hurt? It seems we have a huge problem. What should we do? Huge problems? JJ, the real apocalypse has begun. The wind is blowing us away. We need to come up with something urgently. Otherwise, we will just be blown away by the wind. Oh yes, TV woman is right. This is the first time I've seen such thunder on this island. This is very strange. Guys, we need to hide! Send everything to my house! We need to stick together! I am sure that my house will withstand this storm! JJ, this is a great idea! But what should we do next? This storm will destroy our entire camp! We can't let that happen! We need to come up with something! We need to save our camp! Oh no, guys! We need to think about our safety now! No one should go outside! I suggest turning off all electricity so that lightning does not strike directly into this house! Hmm, okay, wow, it got so dark. Three hours later. Phew, it seems the storm is over, finally. It was the worst few hours of my life. Oh yes, TV woman, I agree with you. Well, what are we gonna do next? Does anyone have any ideas? Guys, one thing I know for sure, we can't split up. This storm could start again at any moment. We need to be there to help each other at the right moment. TV woman and I can go to sleep on JJ's bed. Hmm, okay, that's a great idea. Mikey, I think we're going to have to sleep on the floor with you. But it's okay. The main thing is that we will all be safe. Good night, girls. 
Okay, JJ, let's go to sleep on the floor. But before that, I suggest turning off the lights. What if the storm really starts again? Okay, Mikey, you're right. It's a good idea. We have to protect ourselves. I'm going to turn off the electricity now. Hey, what happened? Stop, what? Mikey, why do you have TV woman and speaker woman swimsuits in your hands? Oh no, JJ, it's not what you think. Honestly, I just wanted to take one slice of pizza. I couldn't see anything in the dark and I think I accidentally stole the swimsuits. Oh, Mikey, it seems you've made a big mistake. Where should we look for TV woman and speaker woman now? Go, 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 go. A lot of sell every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, to the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way.